guys my name is Misha and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do my um what do you call it my pre-poo basically I'm gonna wash my hair now I literally just left work so um I'm gonna wash my hair now so I'm gonna show you how I prepare my hair before I wash it basically if you want to know what a pre-poo is that's what basically it is and um yeah so if any further ado if any further stalling keep watching and i hope you enjoy the video right so i'm going to take off this hair scarf obviously, obviously when i go to work i wear hair scarves because um my hair i just can't bother to i can't bother to do it sometimes and plus i like head scarves now so it is what it is so when, <laughs> don't judge me with what's underneath this scarf please don't it's mad oh my god my hair's not good um yeah so uh my hair it's three and a half oh my gosh this is painful what's that hair that i had and then i split it again in quarters <laughs> Today I just want to just get this out of the way, so um, I'm just going to try and go as quick as I can. And then on this side, I think I split it in half. Oh my gosh, the, the dust that's coming out of my hair is ridiculous. So you have, you should have like four sections. You have two here, and then two in the back. Okay. So what I'm going to do this part, I'm just going to twist it out of the way. And then with this part, if, you, if your hair is not long enough to twist it, just put hair bands in. Here's what it is. Plait it, whatever you need to do. Just make sure it's out of the way. And hair band it, clip out of the way, whatever. So two. And then at the back, I'm going to just start with this section. So on this side, I'm just going to use the hairband I had earlier. And I'm going to just tie it with that. My hair is just horrible. You only have gel in your hair for so long, it just, just makes it crunchy and nasty. You should have three in bands. And then one because okay, and then you should have one that's out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use spray bottle first, and then I'm just gonna like moisturize a little bit, just cause it's just mad dry and I just can't. I can't be bothered to um, you know detangle it while it's dry okay so with this first part I'm just going to split it again and I'm just going to finger detangle it as much as possible I'm just using my um, index finger and I'm just really using that as the comb and if I can't if it's too knotty or too um tangled then I I won't just drag my finger through I'll stop at a point where the knot is and then I'll just gently just break it like that with my hands obviously and then it should just be easily your hands can just easily go through so I hope that makes sense. So I just put spray bottle it and then I use my index fingers like a comb. And if there's a knot that I don't want to rip through, I just I just put my thing my index finger until the knot and then I break it with my hands. Like yeah. That's what I do. So that part is alright now. So now I'm just gonna add some oil. Just oil. It's not got much in it, it's only got um, almond oil, um, almond oil, 
What else has it got? Avocado, al avocado oil and um, extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin. So then I just put that on my scalp and then I just finger tangle it with my hands. And then um, I either use coconut oil or shea butter or both. And this coconut oil, I got it from Tesco for like a fiver or three pound or whatever. So just put it in my hands and then I just make it through like that. Like this. And that's it. And then after that's done, that's now detangled in comparison to like this part here. This is now detangled. And then I just plait it or twist it up. To get it out of the way. So when I pee poo, I basically do this because it makes the um, washing time a lot easier. Like I don't have to be in the shower for so long when I'm washing my hair. So I'm going to just show you how to do it again on the other section. So I have my part here. You just spray water just to make it a bit more softer. You just run your hand through it like this. And then I use your index finger and then you just go through and that's is a knot here. So I just break it up with my hand. And then I've got the other half here. I don't know if you can see. And I put my hand through again. And then just put it through. Another knot, I just break it. I just put my finger through like this. And then once one thick fingers are right, then I just do the other with the rest of the hand. Like that. Then the other section, the one I halved it with, again. Not here, so I just break it and break it like that, and eventually the hair should just become soft and manageable. So I shouldn't have that many tangles, especially when you spread the water in it. The water definitely does soften it up. So now you have this section, and now you're just gonna add the oils. Just gonna add the oil. You want to add oil at the end as well if you like, on the ends. And then just like melt it in, massage it in in a way. Just keep going until it's pretty soft. And then after you've done that part with the oils, you just, I'm just going to use shea butter for this one. Use your shea butter or your coconut oil, either one. I use it both, I don't care. And then you just put it in your palms and just shake it like that. Um, just do this. Go through the knots. And it should just be detangled. And then you just do that throughout your whole head. Make sure you just go into sections half and half again. So now this section is a bit big, so I'm just gonna twist this. And then twist the other section. And that's one quarter out of the way. That's it. Just continue the rest without the whole head. And then you're ready to wash your hair. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so now I've finished the process of putting the oils in my hair to make it um, easier to manage when I wash it. I've just detangled it and I have 
eight twists on my head. I have two this section, two this section, two this section, and two this section. Depends on how long your hair is. You might have more, you might have less. It just depends on your preference and it depends on how quick you want to get this done. This took me 15 minutes altogether. I started at quarter to seven. Now it's seven o'clock. So it took me 15 minutes. My shedding is not even a lot. This is why I like finger detangling because you're not ripping out your hair. <laughs> um, you can manage it easier and the shedding is much less. So my shedding was literally this much. It's not a lot at all. It's actually quite small. And when I wash my hair, it's gonna be not that much either. So this is that. Um, just to reiterate, what I did was I put my section, my hair into four sections initially. Put a part in down the middle and then a part in across. And then for each section, I then sprayed water to make sure it's a bit more soft so I'm not detangling on dry hair because I don't like doing that. So after I then put the water in, I finger tangled it with my hands. I use my my index finger to go through like a rake. And if I had if I found a knot while I was doing it and it was too hard for me just to go through, I would just stop my finger here and then I would pull it apart gently with my with my hands so it wouldn't rip out my hair. I'll just gently do it. And then once that part is done, that, that section is detangled by your fingers, you then add the oils. You can either have it in one of those containers like I have. You either have it in one of these containers like this or just have it from its own bottle and you just put it into your scalp and on the ends. You then finger detangle some more. Once that's done, you then add coconut oil or shea butter, whatever you want to use and then you just put that on top and then continue to detangle it. Once that part is done, you then split it in half or how many sections you want and then continue to finger detangle it. Once it's fully detangled, you then twist it and that's it. That is it and then you do it again for the other section and you continue for the rest of the head. Thank you so much for watching and if you got this far, I'm so sorry it's a long video, but if you got this far, then make sure you subscribe. The button is red, the button is there looking at you. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.